hey guys what's up it's your boy programmer Arnab and in this video what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a web scrapper with Python so at first what is a web scrapper web scrapper means scrapping some data from the website or web pages is known as web scrapping so for example you are sitting in your home and you are you want the uh, cricket life life school or a uh, soccer life school then you will just write a program and that program will go to the website get the scores and it will display in your TV or in your website or in your application or in your phone or anywhere you want it will do that stuff for you that is web scrapping and let me just show you a demo what we will do today so suppose I want some scores or uh, what we're going to make today is a Wikipedia scrapper so we will scrap data from the Wikipedia so what I will do is type like this and it will ask me what do you want to search so I will say like tell me about car oh sorry uh, I just messed up so what we will do is uh, it will ask us something like what do you want to search I will say like car and it will go to Wikipedia and scrap the data from there and will show us that car is this or ice is this or ice cream is this it will tell us about it, it. so how to make it is what we will do so let me just remove the code from here and this is Wikipedia so what happens is you type something here and it when you press search it will just uh, put that in the URL and it will tell you about the stuff like for example I have typed ice so it have the eyes in the URL and it has given me information about it so what do we need for the web scrapping is the URL so what I will do I will take the URL and put that in a variable and for this for web scrapping we need two modules from the Python library so those are our request module and the BS4 module that is beautiful so for if you have used them then it's very good but if you have not then to install them you have to write pip install requests and after that you have to write pip install bs4 and once you press enter it will go download them and install them in your system and then you're ready to go so after that what you have to do in your code is you have to type from requests import get so get is a function which is inside request package and that will do is I will store all the uh, page code like HTML code in the page variable and I will say like get the URL means go to the URL and get all the code and I only want the HTML code I don't want the header and all the stuff like uh, header status and all the stuff so I only want the HTML so I am adding the dot txt here txt and now let's just print it so let's see if it is working or not so I said python wiki.py because that's the file name and it will just print the HTML code which it get, it gets so here you can see all the HTML code so uh, I have already uh, put that HTML code inside a file called output dot so what I will do I will take okay okay let me see <coughs> let me just open the folder for you so let me see so here is the output dot HTML I will open it inside the browser so you can see it well so here you can see I, I have fetched the ice cream page uh, I have paged so this is what our script is looking at this is what our uh, Python program is looking at it is not looking at a page like this it is looking at the page like this so there are no styles and stuff but we need the information in it so what we did we have to do is get to the page source code you can also do this 
uh, inspect element if you like but I am going for the source code so we have to find uh, this line ice cream derived from the earlier and all this in this line so what I have to do I have to see that it is inside a p tag and uh, there are many lines and all these are inside the p tags so what I will do I will fetch all the p tags from this side so let's just take this page and let's modify its HTML contents so to do that we need another package that is called BS4 beautiful soup for so I will say from BS4 import beautiful soup so it's a beautiful soup and I will take a soup variable where I will convert all the tags HTML tags so what I will do I will take the beautiful soup function and it takes two parameters the first thing is our HTML code so it's inside the page variable and the second thing it takes is the how will it process it like, like how will it parse it or encoding stuff so you can just type lxml or html5 lib these are two libraries which help us to parse the html so i'm going to use lxml here so what i'm going to do i'm going to find all the p tags so let's take a p variable and let's say soup dot find all and remember a is capital here and it takes what I have to find so I will say find all the p tags so if it finds all the p tag it should tell me how many p tags it find so I will uh, do a length function on the p tag so to see how many p tags it found so, so let's just run the program and see uh, it says it cannot find the beautiful soup okay sorry it's a capital B here and capital B there it's beautiful soup and then let's just run it and see what it gets so here we are okay it finds 66 P tags so let's print like P2 CLS and let's see what it found and uh, it found right it found it bingo so what do we have to do is it contains a lot of tags like p tag a tag and all the tag so what I will do I will just filter it so I only need the HG, uh, text from it so I will say dot text and let's remove that and also while we are here we will just do term input and like enter what you what what happening what you want to search and then we will just append that with this term so if everything is okay then it will just tell me what do you want to search so I will tell him to find like something like cars and it will go to the Wikipedia website it will search all the HTML and it will just fetch the content from it here it is let's try it again like with something else like uh, uh, light and enter so it should tell me about light and it says the main source of light on earth is the sun and all the stuff so it's working guys so this is how you can make your own a uh, web scrapper so you can just experiment it with your another site like you can try it with YouTube you can try it with any other site but remember guys some sites uh, scrapping from those sites are illegal like for example Amazon you cannot uh, scrap data from Amazon because it's illegal if they catch you then it, they can do some illegal legal uh, take you to the code or other stuffs so remember if you are using it for your future then always take legal permissions from the owners or else you can use apis i will make another video on how to use apis 
so for now see you guys next